Grant Boone Morgan Pressel watching some of the action. And early on, Allison Lee, her third, the par four first. Yeah, she had a strong finish to her back nine yesterday. And that is how she would start the day today. California kid trying to win for the first time. Let's see what Madeline Saxstrom can do from off the green at two. We said the greens were small. The hole looks big. She was tied for 80th Morgan after round one, but she has a knack for playing well in tough conditions. Uh, this is remarkable. That was for her seventh birdie of the day. She two birdies before the end of her round. Excuse me, one birdie before the end of her round. 63 for GA. Allison Lee at the sixth. Eventually, Ronan Yin, our defending champion, at the short par four fifth, moved up. Yeah, moved it up to just under 250 yards. Incredible three birdies in her first six and then gets to a par five one of the biggest Best drivers at the ball and saves bogey. So she'll drop a shot Running has a six iron in her hand gonna launch that up hope to get it up in the jet stream Oh, and she just got it to the front of the green and You can see Cannot her almost tell. trying to yeah, it's coming back, Kay, off the backstop. That is fabulous. What a shot. Yeah. You can see her try to give that a little bit extra uh, lift in the air. It's such an elevated green here. Push that out to the right a little bit. Depends how it hits and releases. Now there's a little slope there. This could get better. Three back of Allison Lee, who has this second of the ninth. Yeah, having to keep it under those trees on the right side. Tough to control it with that type of a shot coming into this green. But that was very well done. Yeah, this is one of the most exposed areas here. This seventh and eighth greens, both of them really exposed to the wind. And we, and we always talk about wind when we think about full shots and how it affects your shots into the green and ball control, but... This feels like uh, an important putt for Nam. This would get her back to even for the day. I think we're going to see a lot of very important putts this afternoon. This putt from five feet. And she just dead pushed that, Morgan. Yeah, it looked like a bit of a swipe there. Didn't Lipped out for eagle and settles for par. Elevated 25 yards above the green in these winds. We're going to look at our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance at DT Ashok. Yeah, you can see starting that ball almost off the left side of the green. What a result. Uh oh. Just looks like she pushed that a little bit. We've seen now Malia miss a short putt and Allison missed a short putt. We talked about, mentioned it earlier, putting in this wind is not easy. It blows you all over the place. Great tee shot at the par 313th from India's Aditi Ashok. This to pay it off. Right here. Yeah, you're good. All right, just to go with the eighth Malia Nam second that was a gap wedge severely downwind oh that's one of the best you're gonna see all day here what a shot here is Ronnie Yen at eight two paces ahead from where Nam hit this a wedge just a soft one uh, she got away with it used it off of the fringe there on the right you're this much downwind, I'd always rather hit a full club. Here's Malia Nam for birdie at eight. Really nice comeback. She made a double bogey yesterday, Morgan. It was the first green she had missed in regulation, but she really fought back. Yeah, this has been a tough hole all week. Hole location, kind of front center today. And going to end up similar to where we just saw Lynn Grant putt from on the top shelf. She's got some windy conditions upcoming. You got Malia Nam from Hawaii. Allison Corpus from Oahu. <laughs> Nearly. 
gets that to drop at the par 5 16th. She shot 65 yesterday. One of the great trailblazers in golf. Yeah, I mean, I said it the other day. It was my first memory watching golf, was watching Seri win. With the seven iron in hand, she can, she'll aim more towards the middle of the green, let the wind push it to the left. Yeah, Especially just like that. She hits it. Well done, Ronnie. That was, that was really good. Smart play. Yeah, very smart play. You know, you say, take your medicine. Don't get too cute to that whole location. She has a good lie in the bottom of this bunker, 15 feet of green to work with. Get out. Get out. Yeah, that'll work. Had a good thump, didn't it? Many are going to bump into the hole. That sounds like somebody who's played a lot of Poana greens. <laughs> San <Yeah>. Fran. <laughs> it can play with your, your psyche, Morgan. Look at how far left she's set up here. Trying to hit a little fade. Don't need, don't need to help the ball too much as hard as the wind is blowing off the left. Nine right now playing just slightly over par where the front nine playing about a half a stroke under par. So definitely the place to make your move and hold on for this back nine. Allison Lee's second at the 11th, par three. Dog bite on her hand. Set her back about a month for preparation for the season. Said she felt rushed but looks really settled in now. She said it doesn't even feel it in her hand anymore. It feels fine. And really seems to be in a similar place to where she was in the off or before the off season. Bogey putt. She was hoping that would hit the flag stick. She doesn't have to worry about the speed so much. It's almost going to play level. Yeah, even just a tad uphill. Ooh. She kind of looked like she was being blown over a little bit there. This is Allison Lee to tie the lead again. Not a lot of break in this, just a little left to right. You asked earlier about Poana Greens. I remember one time at ShopRite in Atlantic City, I had a putt about that distance. Yeah, she might so just aware. cover it a little. I think she caught that a teeny bit heavy, but it bounced forward off that fringe. That reacting a little over dramatically in a negative way to a few of her misses. I hope she flips that around on this back nine. Running from a tighter lie. And that's how she could generate that extra bit of spin there. Two good par saves at 10 and 11 for Ronnie Yin. I had to turn around and see it. Nom for bogey. Nearly just straight up the fall line. Maybe just a little bit of a wobble there. Halfway to the hole. And so far, putting up a good fight in her defense of this title. Good lie in the bunker. Oh, oh yes! Yeah. Ronin Yen! How, how about that, Birdie? Well, a great Saturday for Nellie Corda, who hasn't played since winning in that playoff over Lydia Ko in her hometown of Bradenton. And Nellie just a moment ago with the Birdie at 16. Look at that scorecard on a tough day. Hasn't brought her best stuff today, but she's fighting hard. For Birdie. Yeah, she's not looked terribly comfortable with this club in her hand. That looked like a very short backstroke. I love what she said. She said, I'm going to be nervous. I know I am. 
returning champ at the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. Here's another major winner, Ashley Buhai, her third at 15. Okay. No green and red, no problem. Not much green to work with, and it's the green slopes away. I like what she did there, carried it a little bit further, took the downslope of the bunker. Yeah, I think you'd say this is pretty straightforward, apart from the howling downwind. The flat green and a good chance to make a birdie, but that one just grabs very quickly. And it's going to come up short. She won't be happy with that effort. Here this week so far, Kay, putting most of the pieces together nicely in a little puzzle. Another. And yeah, there's another key up and down. I think she has been emotionally elevated coming to the event this week. Trying to make up for it here with this one. It's Rose Zhang's ball. Well. Yeah, Rose Zhang's ball from the other side of the hole turned left to right at the end, coming the other way. I'm really surprised she left that short, Tom. That was very yeah. tentative, putting straight up the hill. And straight downwind. Korea, where she lost to Minji Lee. Here's Nam for par at 13. Hanging in there, Morgan. All right, Nelly Korda coming off a bogey at 17 has this approach at the par four 18th. She is in contention again. Absolute beauty here yesterday. Her coach said, told me that. A little more than a tap in coming up in a moment, but a good chance for a closing birdie. At 15, the second for Rose Zhang. It's been a tough day. She's five over. Yeah, she had a low bullet driver off the tee and then tries to fly that one down. That was all over it. What a shot. She's just seen Rose clatter one against the flag. I think this one just needs to go a fraction. Yeah. Okay, it's going to leave her a good chance for a birdie there. All right, Morgan, Morgan, Morgan for, for another, another closing, closing birdie, birdie for Nelly. Three back at the moment. We'll see where she is entering the final round tomorrow. She has become that. Won a major championship, became number one in the world. Here's the fourth for Nam. Uphill the whole way downwind out of gap wedge from 127 yards. This is a birdie attempt for Ronin Yen at 14. Downhill initially, then flattens out into the wind. Oh, this was really misjudged All right, Leona McGuire third at 15 just a moment ago okay that spot on for Leona I'm sure she had visions of having this putt for eagle instead of for par but uh, good job there you, know, you just have to swallow those mistakes and move on. Yeah, that was a good effort there. She knew, you know, it's going to be tough. You know, the weather she said she was even coming off the golf course yesterday afternoon. Yeah, this whole playing a ton of break. Okay. This whole runs west to east. And it's like a wind tunnel up the fairway. G.A. Shin, I mean, who's been a... done for about two and a half hours. Right, this is rookie from Japan, Mao Saigo. Hey, Look out here. She and G.A. Shin played a lot of golf together on the JLPGA. Running Yen second at 15 into the sun. Very hard to control this shot coming off an uphill okay, lie into off. that wind. She took a nine iron. You know, this, what, 89 yard shot is going to play uphill, hurting cost wind, going with the gap wedge. Now, wind just, it got up high and the wind pushes it. This might trickle back down onto the green. Yes, it will. Oh, wow. A little bit of course knowledge there should move from her right to left a little. Oh, beauty. That's Yen's a nice way to quickly erase the three putt. 
Yeah, just a perfect lie in the bunker. I think she might be looking to hold this one. Uh, it's a wonderful shot. What a touch. And she will make the birdie here. First birdie, the back nine. Just very straightforward, easiest shot in golf. Well, for some of us. Take care here, come back here for par for Nam. Yeah, her second shot just came up short of the bunker. It was a difficult one. I think she would rather have been in the bunker. Could only get it to there. Yeah. Okay, she walks away with the four, so both players make birdie there. Her competitor in Ronin Yin, who hits it pretty long way herself. Ashley Buhai finishing up at the 18th. Player who survived the okay. grind at Muirfield, first ever AIG Women's Open. She hasn't quite held that trophy yet, but you feel like it might be coming. Her coach, Chris Mason, was joking with her earlier this week that she hasn't ever played well on this golf course. Didn't play well in the collegiate event here. Hasn't played well here as a professional. And could this be the golf course where she gets her first victory? She had a tremendous freshman year. She was Pac-12 freshman of the year and really helped the team to seven victories that season and she just has a natural physical ability and I think as she continues to hone her game her short game and her putting she, the sky's the limit for her you woke up in Ireland you were playing golf in the summer in Ireland you'd be thrilled with the weather day like today no doubt. upper 50s and don't count her out yet six under par She's lucky it's not inside the uh, the red line. Not sitting very well in the grass. Kind of had to fight that against the grain shot. This eagle putt would go a huge distance for her. Downhill, then starts flattening out, back into the wind. Oh, and she can't believe she left that short. Yeah, last year during the course of, of winning this tournament, I think it was on Saturday, she realized she was a little too tentative with her putting and just flipped it at the, the turn and and started getting her putting back. These late, these late groups. Malia Nam for birdie at 16. So able to get down in two from just off the back of the green. It's going to be four to finish with Morgan. It just wasn't enough pace on that line. I think that's something she's really going to have to watch tomorrow. Yeah, she was a little tentative. This is actually a new putter that she's put in the bag here this week. At the 17th, the bunker shot for Ronin Yin. From a perfect lie, back into the wind. Plenty of green to work with. Uh, just spectacular. Should be pulling down a little bit to the left. Oh. That was a good stroke. Yeah, just not enough bar okay. You had to look at where she's tending to miss her putts today. They've all been just a little bit on the low side. And the only thing you can do is start it on your line, hit like about a two inch putt, and let it go. <laughs> In the middle of all of this, we have Malia Nam with her second. Turning here on the wind. Might spin left, yeah. That'll be a putt to get back where she started the day at eight under. Hmm. That is a most Unlucky seven. Mm. Not particularly magnificent. And this to finish with two birdies in her last three holes. It's going to be a 72 from Malia. And for the first time since 
2013 G.A. Shin is going to take a lead into the final round of an LPGA event. She's played a handful of LPGA events in the last decade or so since she left the tour in the end of 2013.